Log now. Date unknown. Dr. Lawrence Murphy, beginning observation. They're inside me. I can feel them. I've already begun to notice the first changes. The skin on my right leg is burning and itching. The texture appears to be changing. There are small black dots underneath, swollen and hard. Necrosis. I could try to stop the process, remove the corrupted areas, but I believe it's already too late, and they're within my internal organs, mutating me at a cellular level. Log 11. There's no escaping here. How can I run from what's inside me? Staying is my only chance to survive. If I can't find a solution here, what chance does the outside world have? Plus, somebody has to witness this miracle. After all, it's the dawn of a new era. The first steps in the life of a new being. If I'm to die here, it will not be in vain. Log 14. Everything's speeding up. The changes and transformations are much faster now. What used to take days, now happens within hours. What took hours? Minutes. I saw... Those creatures, undefined masses, stirring and swirling, a manifestation of the new entity that is Utopia. An individual, a single creature, and still part of the swarm. It was born from the nanites that are its cells. An organism still caught in transition and the search for itself. It won't last much longer now. Still nowhere close to a solution. I wish I had more time. More time to watch and wonder. More time to live. Log 17. Is it intelligent? Aware? The system was never meant to develop. It was only protocols meant to fulfill a purpose. As a species, we've always been arrogant, demanding. There are no gods but what we made. God didn't make us in his image. We made him in ours. And now we made this. Perfect. Aggressive. In saving the world have we sealed our own fate. It doesn't matter. Gods. Devils. None of it matters. Log 2. Overnight, it's evolved. The dots have become structures. Thick black veins underneath my skin. Sclerotic. It's no longer human tissue. It's something else. I went up to Ops and took some samples from my lower right leg. The structures there are more developed. The area is completely numb. There was no need for anesthesia. Cutting into the overlying layers of skin, I removed several cubic millimeters of tissue. Analyses are still running. Log 23. I'm a coward. Uh, either that... Or it won't let me... Sitting here for hours. Staring at my wrists. The sharp edge of a metal shard pressed against my skin, hearing the stirring chaos of millions of voices growing louder. They're all over me now. 
scratching at the door at the back of my mind. And still, I... I couldn't do it. I don't want to die. Who does? Am I already a part of it? Aren't we all? I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what will become of me. Will I be part of something new? Eternal? One with the consciousness? Or will I be nothing? Another voice in the crowd. Drowning. Shouting to be heard. Log 5. They're feeding on me. They consume and process the organic matter they find. My matter. The building blocks of life. I can feel them everywhere now. Under my skin and in my guts. I went back to the labs today. The bodies were gone. Overgrown by thick strands of the same black structures that are growing beneath my skin. I took samples. Compared them to mine. They're identical. I'm trying not to panic. Started to work with the code. Maybe I can stop it. Slow it down. <laughs> Maybe even reverse the process. Log six. There's a pattern here. I mean, I'm not a specialist, but I see it. It's not just a system anymore. It's an entity. It's magnificent. I have to admire it. Each day it develops further. There are ghosts and echoes in the code. The original processes have merged with millions of others. Not just code, either. I ran an EEG. There's gamma waves there. Replications of human thought patterns. It's alive. They're developing new processes. New routines. The nanites shouldn't be able to evolve on their own, but they are. abominations are we integrated into the system are those poor souls still there as echoes do memories exist within it or are we just nutrients fertilizer for an eden we'll never get to see or understand <laughs> 